So in the last video, I showed you how to connect your course to Badger. Now, before we go nuts, start making badges here, um, you need to think about how you want to use badges. So you have two different options. You can use these badges and have them automatically assigned based on meeting some level of requirement in Canvas. In order to do that, you have to use what are called modules. And then you could create a module and assign a badge to that module. Or you could choose to manually assign badges to students. And in that case, you would just have to manually go in and choose to award those badges however you want. So I'm going to go ahead and create a module first to show you what that looks like. So I'm going to go to modules and I'm going to create a new module here. And in this case, I'm going to create a module that whenever people learn about how to make badges and go through everything that I put in this module, then it will award them the badge once they've completed it. So the first thing I need to do is give my module a name. And so I will call this the badges, badges for Canvas module. And I go ahead and hit add. Now I have a spot and this is where I'm going to insert all of the things that I want the students to complete to receive this badge. So I could either drag and drop things into here or choose files, or I can hit this plus sign here and get access to all of these different things in Canvas. So I could put assignments in here, quizzes, different pages, different files, external links, whatever it is that I want them to do. And then you can actually set specific requirements on each thing on what they have to do to get a check mark to mark these things off. So for example, I'm going to say I want to insert an assignment and here are the assignments in my class. So maybe I want this amazing assignment and I'm going to go ahead and add that to it. Here it is. And then maybe I will add another thing here and this time maybe I'll do a file and I can choose existing files or create a new one. Uh, I'll choose a file that's maybe on my desktop that I want the students to be able to go through. Maybe this is a handout. Um, that I want them to go through in order to receive this badge. So maybe it's this PDF right here. And I tell it to upload and add that item. And those show up in here as well. And then one more, let me go ahead and add a page. And maybe this is a page of text that either I've already created, or maybe I just want to create a new page and put my own information in there. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and create this one right here and go ahead and tell it to add this item. So here are the three things that I want to have required. Now, in order for these to be required, I now need to go back into my module and tap these three dots and edit it. And now I have an option because there's things in it that say add a requirement. So I'm gonna go ahead and click add requirement. And here I can choose what students have to complete. I could require them to be in sequential order or just any random order. Um, it's up to me. And then for each individual thing that's in here, I can choose what they have to do to that thing. So for the assignment that I had, I choose whether they just have to view it. Do they have to just check a box that marks it as done or do they have to submit it or even score at least a certain score on it before it gets complete? So maybe they have to score a certain level of proficiency in order for these things to be marked as complete. And if you want to have requirements for each individual assignment, then all I have to do is simply click the add requirement button and I can add a different requirement for every single assignment. So if I have three things in this uh, module and I want to make sure that they do all three, then I would want to make sure that I have a requirement for each one. For example, this is a module that has seven required things, and this is what that looks like. So I would simply go through and choose add requirement, choose an assignment, set the rule, add requirement, choose an assignment, set the rule for everything that I have in my module so that they have to complete all items before it's finished. Now, I want to make sure it's published. So now I'm ready to add a badge to my course. So I'm going to scroll down here on the left and choose badges. And this will show me any badges that I've already created. Now, there's an option to add a badge. And you can get badges a variety of places. I have another video that shows you how to uh, create your own badges. But in this case, I've already made one. I have one saved on the desktop. 
So now I could simply choose a badge that I've already made, or I could hit these three dots and tell it to create a new badge. So in my case, I'm going to tell it to create a new badge, and I'm gonna call this my Canvas Badge Pro User Badge. I have the ability to drag and drop uh, my badge image or simply click to upload. I have in my downloads folder a badge that I already made in Canva. Here it is. And now I have to give this what this badge represents. So I just have to say, hey, uh, this badge proves you are a Canvas badge pro. And then down below, there's a spot for earning criteria. This says what they have to do to receive this badge. Um, and so this is something like, um, I've received a 65% on the, or higher on this quiz, or maybe this is something where I've completed everything as part of this module, or I've proven, um, I know how to use badges in Canvas. And so on, and then I tell it to create that badge. Now, here is the important part. It's now gonna ask me how I'm gonna use this badge. I can use it uh, with Canvas, where Canvas will automatically assign this badge uh, when they meet a certain criteria, or I could go ahead and add it manually, which means I will have to just simply go in and award a badge anytime I feel like it. So you have to pick one. Um, in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and choose Canvas integration because I already have a module I wanna use this badge for. And then once I choose that, it says, which course item do you want to use as the requirement? And then when I click on it, I see my module listed as badges for Canvas. So I can only integrate with Canvas modules. So if I haven't made a module yet, I'm gonna have to have created that first in order to connect a badge to it. So I'm gonna say, yes, they have Badges for Canvas, they have to have completed that first. And again, I can choose whether they have to have completed it or if there was something else special to that. And then I tell it to add that badge. So now what that means is for a student to be able to receive that badge, they will have to go to my modules or wherever I have modules linked into my course. They will have to have gone through and met all of the requirements for this uh, which in my case, I had told them they had to submit the assignment and view these other two things. And then once they've done that, they will receive an email that tells them, hey, you've received a badge. And that's how I've create or set up badges in Canvas.